Hello everybody, welcome back to Back to the Future. We haven't played this in ages either, so... Oh, we're having issues, are we? Uh, it's having a bit of a hiccup. Maybe it's because I hit continue. Oh no, here we are. Why do we not get a... Um... Okay, why do we not get uh, a hint? Like previously in the last episode of Back to the Future. Oh well, watch the previous video if you want to catch up. Um, what are we doing? Find out why Trixie won't betray Kid. Can we go and talk to her while she's singing? Probably not. She's no Pat Benatar, but not bad. Not bad. Okay. Um. Can we talk? Back off, kid. I'm trying to entertain some people here. Okay. I shouldn't bother her while she's singing. No, we know. Ah, she's finished singing. Well, that's good. Where'd she go? No, come over here. Hi, 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 hi. Excuse me, are you Trixie Trotter? That's what it says on my dressing room door. At least, it would if I had a dressing room. Well, yes, quite. Um, that's a nice girl. What are you doing? I don't care. What are those? Are they lyrics for one of your songs? I haven't memorized them yet. What's a nice guy like you doing with a guy like Tannen? Oh, True. Kid ain't so bad. He just takes some- Hey, Toots. Any chance you could sing that can-can number? The guys really love the way it shows off your, uh... Assets. Thanks. Whatever you say, kid. <laughs> and quit lazing around. I ain't paying you to yak with the drunks. I'm not drunk. I think Marty's not even you old enough to drink. Paying me at all, you bum. Uh oh. What were we talking about again? <clears throat> well, why you stay with kid? You were telling me what a, a great a guy ass. kid is. Yeah, I guess he is a pretty crummy boyfriend. But until my insurance policy checks out, I guess I'm stuck with him. Insurance. Yeah. Look, I may not be the brightest bulb in the marquee, but even I know, you don't break up with a creep-like kid without something <laughs> to keep him from going all crazy on you. Insurance policy? Oh, What's this insurance juicy. policy all about? Are you kidding? There's only one person I trust with my secrets, but I ain't seen him in weeks. Artie you McFly! Artie McFly! Artie McFly. You know him? Not as well as I thought. Before he took a powder, Artie was tutoring me in all sorts of stuff. Etiquette, philosophy, uh, accountant. He's a regular renaissance man. He even had one of those smart guy professor's pipes, see? Can oh. I borrow this? Sure. I've been what secretly working to ask. on my get out of kid card for weeks now. But Artie's the only one I trust to check my work. You can't be too careful when you're dealing with a maniac like kid, you know? I know. I can find Arthur for you. If I you. arrange a meeting with Artie, could you use that insurance of yours? Use it? Heck, if what I'm sitting on pans out, I could send that bozo all the way to the big house. I'll see what I can do. Alright, okay. Break a leg out there. Thanks. She's supposed to turn on Kid Tannen tonight? Okay, Doc, if you say so. Uh, right, so we need to find Artie now. God, how do we do that? Uh, hints. Somebody's helped you find Arthur in the past. Maybe he can help again? Oh, well, I can't remember who that was. Is it Doc? Yeah, uh, go on then. Emma and Einstein could be helping hand right about now. Well, duh. I, I guessed as much, but... Right, we need to, we need to get out of here. Come on, where are, you, where are you going, Marty? Come on. Oh God, the controls, man. Hey. Hey. Nice suit. Where'd you get it? Your Costume mom. shop at the mall. Uh, I, I had it custom made. Yeah? Quality material. Who are you? Where you from? The name's uh, Michael Corleone. I thought I did all this last time. Uh, 
I'm a local guy. I'm just your average 1931 kid, you know, hanging out in speakeasies and uh, soaking in the scene. Average kids don't dress that way. Come on, what's the dope? Spill it or I'll go easy, kid. From the cut of the suit, I'm thinking he might be with the Valenti gang. Is that so? Uh, yes. Uh, yes? Prove it. You ain't leaving until you show me some bona fides. Okay, I can show you some bona fides right now. There we go. All right, we definitely did this last time. Use item. There you go. I've got a little something here that might convince you. Uh, don't even blink. It's not a real gun. It's not a real gun, I swear. It's a gift from Don Valenti. See? To your family from mine, in gratitude for your continued service, J.J. Valenti. Looks like little Mikey Corleone here really is with the Sacramento boys. Yeah. You got stones, Pee-wee. I like that. Have yourself a drink. On the house. Matches, put down your gun. You look like a moron. <sighs> oh, he growled like a moron, too. Can I go now? Can I? Can we? Can we? Oh, God. The, the controls are mental. Right, okay. We can leave. Good. Hmm. Where is already There! Oh my there God! Is. He's back. Well, that was convenient. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, whoops! How, how'd you run? I can't remember how you run. Okay, we're just gonna walk everywhere. Oh. Majestic arms in. Hey, Doc! <sighs> right, now, I don't know where that was because of this camera angle. Okay, that's how you run. Well, that makes sense, I guess. Oh, there it is. Should we go in here and find out where? Hey, Doc. How's the room? It's a little cleaner than I would have imagined for a depression era flop house. How are your investigations going? Oh, they're going quite well. I saw Arthur. I saw him. Who? My grandpa. On his streetcar for just a second. Doc, we gotta find him. Why? Okay. Trixie thinks she's got something that could put Kid away, but Artie's the only one who can tell her for sure. I guess he's kind of her tutor or something. Ah, so that's the connection. When your grandfather disappeared from Hill Valley for two months, the bond between him and Miss Trotter was severed. Eventually leading to a timeline in which Trixie lost her nerve to betray Taryn. Yeah? We've got to find your grandfather. Yes. Have you seen Any Arthur? sign of Artie? Haven't spotted him yet. Oh, great. Parker's pickled. Are you sure Tannen's supposed to be arrested by Officer Parker? The guy's a mess. Oh. Mess or no mess, I'm absolutely certain that Parker's your man. In fact, it's his arrest of Tannen that will eventually lead him to become Hill Valley's chief of police. That seems really unlikely. Mm. Where's the DeLorean? Where'd you park man? the DeLorean? I hid it in a DeSoto lot. Nobody's buying cars these days, so it should be safe in there. Well, you reckon? Bad kid, Tannen. Why are Tannen's always such jerks, anyway? Ah, uh, it's hard to say. Rogue, Neanderthal genes in their DNA, perhaps. Okay, I better get back to fixing history. Be yes. careful, Marty. Transients welcome. Trenches. Uh, let's take another hint. Somebody's helped you in the. Uh, yeah, I know, but I don't know where to find him. Can we cross the road. Let's get run over by some cars. And we can't cross the road. Ah, oh, jeez. Don't, don't I want to go to the cinema? Could Arthur be in there? That's way too dark and crowded for me to tell. Okay. Yes, I'm trying to cross the road. Whoa, who is that coming out of that door then? Thank you. 
Oh, okay, I see. Uh, where are we supposed to head? Can't cross the road. Oh, I can cross the road here. That's useful. Is Arthur... Oi. How do I get to the park gates? No. Ah! Emmet! Nice. You're just in time. How have you been, Emmet? I know I haven't seen you in a couple of months. I'm great, and I owe it all to you. Really? Yes. That argument I had with my father during our jet drill experiment gave me the incentive to finally quit that dreary court job. I've committed myself full-time to a life of science. Good. So, uh, thanks for watching Einstein while I've been... Uh, away. It's been a pleasure. He's proven to be a surprisingly willing test subject. Almost as if he's been working with me for years. <laughs> More like decades. What are you doing? What's the story with the little car and all this equipment? Einstein and I are conducting a few experiments with this one quarter scale model to work out a few hitches in my planned demonstration at the Hill Valley Expo in a couple of months. A radio controlled car? No. Well, yes, but that'll be so much more than that. It will amaze the world. Aha! Got it! Uh, got what? I'll show you. Ready to go, Einstein? Watch this! When this baby hits 23 miles per hour, we're gonna see some serious cow flop. Uh, Einstein! Oh, get him out of here! Not to worry. I've got a fail-safe eject mechanism around here someplace. See? Nothing to worry about. Nothing. I'll go see if I can find something to help. Or someone. Uh... Great, we're looking for Artie. I'm trying to. Oh, god damn it. How the hell do I save a dog? Emmett? Don't worry, Emmett. I'm sure you'll get it right someday. Oh, I'm not worried about that. Right now, I'm more concerned with Einstein. Hmm. Can't you just go into the courthouse to get Einstein? If I still had my job as a clerk, sure, but lately a lot of evidence has gone missing, so they've installed new locks. Now the place is sealed up tighter than my dad's wallet. Hmm. You've got to rescue. Isn't there a ladder on the side of the courthouse we can use? Ah, oh, they tore down the ladders after a rash of jumping incidents in 29. Bad for civic morale, they said. Indeed. You've got to rescue. Isn't Einstein? there a ladder on the side okay. of the courthouse we can use? Ah, oh, they tore down the ladders after a rash of jumping incidents in 29. Bad for civic morale, they said. Okay, then. Well, well, I'll go off and see if I can get some help. You do that. I'll stay here and see if I can think of a way to get Einie off that ledge. That would be nice. We could talk to Trixie, uh, not Trixie, what's her name? We could talk to this lady here. Hello. Got a problem. Hey, Edna. Mr. Crockett. What can I do for you? Uh. What's with you and Emmett? What's going on with you and Emmett? The last time I saw you, you seemed to be kind of interested in him. That was before I belatedly realized that his agreement to host my Stay Sober Society was a clever ruse to ferry barrels of hooch to his so-called laboratory. Sorry about that. Now his very presence fills me with an irrepressible urge to pick at his philosophical and intellectual foundations with every tool in my vocabulary. So you're not dating? Dating? <laughs> the mere thought of romantic involvement with that undisciplined techno-anarchist is preposterous. Oh, Good. Okay. Uh, what are you doing? 
What are you doing out here in the middle of the night? Saving people from alcohol, vice, and disorder. And also keeping a lookout for hot stories. You'd be surprised how much news breaks on this corner. Okay then. See you. So you're not going to help us. Good fight. Help us with Ainy, and that's where we're going to stop today. So thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed the episode, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so for more videos like this and other ones as well. So thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.